monthly magazine introduced the world to one of the West's most colorful characters. The article inside, written by Colonel George Ward Nichols, would make Wild Bill Hickok an American icon. Wild Bill Hickok is really the first superhero or international star, if you will, uh, of the Wild West. Wild Bill Hickok exuded charisma. You met him, you never forgot him. He was tall, he was handsome, he was deadly with his guns. He was the kind of a man that when you saw, you immediately respected and to a certain extent you also feared. A native of Illinois, Hickok roamed the frontiers in the 1850s as a buffalo hunter and wagon driver, developing the kind of skills with a gun that would later become legendary. Wild Bill Hickok preferred a pair of 1851 Colt navies. He wore them in a reverse position like this. He drew the guns by reaching inside and pulling them out like that. Sometimes he wore them in holsters, sometimes in a red sash. Wild Bill was a very good shot. He once told a spectator that he would put five shots into the sign on the hotel across the street. And he put five shots into the O of the word hotel. During the Civil War, Hickok served as a civilian scout for the Union Army. Later, his Yankee ties would bring him trouble. Once in Springfield, Missouri, he was caught in a dispute with an ex-Confederate named Dave Tutt. Dave Tutt and Wild Bill Hickok.